of infrastructure, the, the requirements for the main conference space were that it needed to be flexible, um, it needed to be used for things yet unknown. Um, you know, as, as with most clients' wish lists, it's, you know, reasonably extensive. So uh, we decided quite early on that we were going to try and do as much as we could over IP, uh, but had concerns regarding the video infrastructure uh, and HD base T. So opted for a predominantly HD SDI backbone for the video uh, with some HD base T redundancy and some fiber redundancy for future use. Um, with regard to all of the lighting uh, and the audio, uh, that is all done over IP. The project can be broken up into three main phases, if you like. There are what we call the general meeting rooms, uh, which are pretty basic. Uh, there are probably only four or five different flavors to those rooms. Um, they all have a screen. Uh, they all have a couple of local input plates. Uh, some have VC, some are projection, some are flat panel. Um, the larger ones will have some audio reinforcement. There are a fair quantity of those, somewhere in the region of 56 uh, meeting and training rooms. Uh, in addition to that then, uh, as, a, as a, a phase two if you like, you could look at the product demonstration area, foyer reception area, which has the video walls, uh, audio reinforcement, um, LED lighting, lighting control, uh, all of which is controlled via uh, iPads um, using a crash strong control system. Uh, and then there is the main um, auditorium or lecture theatre, which uh, is a space that holds 250 people uh, that can be broken into three sections, um, again, all Crestron controlled. So th those are the three main phases of work. Between the main lecture and the product demo reception area, those areas had to tie in together. So um, sources that were available in one needed to be available in the other, um, uh, and vice versa. When we start moving into the main conference areas, the product demo demonstration areas and the reception of the foyer, we need to make sure that whatever manufacturer we chose, whether it be for the projectors or the flat panels or anything else, uh, we needed to ensure that we were going to get the support and backup that we needed. We've worked with Christie before um, and I've been very happy with the support that they give, the training that they give, and so uh, we decided to run with both Christie display solutions and Christie uh, projectors. Um, so in the main projection booth we've got a pair of uh, HD10 KMs. Um, we have another HD10 KM out in the auditorium which does, does the rear half of the room uh, and we have some smaller Christie's that do the, the front two sections of the, of the main auditorium. With regard to the reception and product demo area we've got uh, Christie 55 inch uh, flat panels making up all of the video walls um, and there are uh, a number of, of micro tiles yet to be installed. There is quite a lot of infrastructure in terms of video um, and We've, we've opted for the Blackmagic um, video matrix, or video router, they call it, but essentially it's a matrix switch. From an audio perspective, we, we, uh, we, we run with Nexo. We, we've, got a, you know, we've got experience of, of using Nexo. Um, you know, most of us come from a, a live event production background, and, and for speech reinforcement, which is the primary concern here, uh, Nexo was going was to do the job. So uh, we've got a number of uh, Nexo PS8s uh, and we've got some um, sub bass reinforcement for um, background audio, foreground audio, uh, depending on the type of event that's running. There are a quantity of microphones and the, and the space isn't huge. Um, so uh, I, I, with the, the, the we had to make a decision about whether we were going to go down a traditional uh, RF route or whether we were going to go down a um, wireless IP route. Uh, and after doing some tests with the new Shaw MX range, uh, it became apparent that the number of microphones that we wanted to support, um, we decided to go down that route. So all of the wireless mics uh, in, in, in the space uh, use IP as opposed to, to RF. Thank <laughs> you.